Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. Today we're going to go through the first 10 days of 30 Days of Sketches, Series 12, put on by Christie's Beautiful Life. And first I want to say so much thank you to Christy for all the hard work that she puts into this, for organizing it. Um, it's, I'm sure, a little bit like herding cats because there's so many people involved. If you go join her uh, Facebook group, 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life, there are so many people participating and playing. You are going to be so inspired. Um, all of the sketches for this series, once again, are made specifically for this challenge. We are going to start with day one. I'm going to have the sketch up here and the designer be named below that because I don't want to butcher anybody's name and not say it correctly. So if I, I'll just spell it out and that just takes care of that matter because <laughs> I'm chicken. I'm a big chicken. Okay. I'm doing something different this time in that I am not putting all the finishing touches on there and I'm not doing that, you know, all of the bits and bobs that, that make a layout just really sing. I'm getting down the basic design and a photo. I have to have photos. I do not want to put these layouts aside and them not have photos because the photos always remind me of the story. And I want to be able to immediately go back to it and say, this is this, this is what I want on it. This is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. So the layouts are going to look incomplete because they are incomplete. But once again, it's going to be the basic design and photos. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, it's a little bit of a miracle that I even have 10 layouts done <laughs> because I've really had to push myself in times that I don't normally scrapbook. I've pushed myself to come upstairs and get something done because we just have a lot going on this month. This is life and I'm happy. I'm happy to have the things going on that we have going on. We're having a great summer so far. Almost summer is still spring, but, um, uh, it's just part of, you know, the balancing act that we have to perform to get our hobby done and to live our everyday lives and to create those memories. You know, it's, it is a definitely a balancing act. So I'm not complaining at all. I am happy, but I am, this is what I'm doing to participate and to kind of stay caught up. Okay. Enough about that. So the first sketch, I love the design, love, love, love the design. And this is a photo I took at Babcock State Park. I want to think, I think it was April 2015. So it was, it was definitely spring. And um, it was still kind of chilly there. So we were, this is a very famous uh, meal. It, you see it, especially in the photography world, you see this image a lot. So I was very, very happy to get to take that photo. Moving on to day two. This is my interpretation. We were at Seneca Lake. And we were there in the evening before we went to dinner. Uh, we walked out on the, the dock, the pier, and you know they were having a little bit of a sunset going on. I just thought it was beautiful. Day three, I love, I stinking love these bands. I love this design. I thought it was great. And this is just a photo of my dining room. And I had gotten it redone the table for my spring look. Got my little bowl of fake lemons there. <laughs> so that is that. Day four. I'm going to lose count because, you know, that's me. This is my great niece uh, writing. She was in one of her lessons and she did her writing. So I nabbed these photos and did a layout. Day five. 
This is a before and after of our, this is the road front garden that we have. And we had gotten mulch delivered. So this is after we put mulch down and it looked so much better, so much better. Day six, this is our garage. And up here in the corner, this is so this is a far away shot. We were leaving the house and I just happened to glance up and I was like, oh, there is a bird nest up there in our, in the eaves in our garage. And so I did a zoomed in a little bit and took another shot. And you can see the little mama bird poking her, her nose out and looking at us. This is day seven, I do believe. This is my oldest son. And this is the dog we had when um, I lived in Alabama. His name is Jack. He eventually went blind, but he, I, I have this thing where I get these dogs given to me. Jack was given to me. He was, he came from a litter of Corgi mix puppies. And I thought I was getting a small dog. No, Jack took after whatever elephant genes were in that litter because he, he was a big dog. He was a big dog and such a sweet little fella. This is day, I'm off. I am off. I've already lost count. Let me get my paper out of here because I've already lost count. This one is day eight. Here is day eight. I thought this turned out super cute. And remember, on every single one of these layouts, I am using scraps. I'm not digging into new paper. I'm just using scraps except for, for the base or the mat for the base. This is day nine. Instead of using three photos, I just used two because I wanted this to show the mixed media to show up. This is not mixed media that I did. This was one of those paper pads from Vicki Booten, her uh, foundations. So I just took advantage of it. Finally, we're to day 10. And on this one, once again, I let the scraps do the work for me. This is a scrap of a Vicki Booten paper and it had all the different colors. I just allowed that to do the work for me. And I did some stamping. I know, can you believe it? So we're at day 10, look at this. Look, this is why I took this picture. Her little tongue sticking out while she's sleeping. And when Charlie falls asleep, she is dead to the world. She had no clue I was taking photos of her. I think that's so funny. Anyway, we're to day 10. And this is the end of this week. Next weekend, I will start with day 11 and continue on. Cross your fingers. Hopefully, I'll get that far. <laughs> I will. I'll have some time to slow down. Okay. Come back. We will chat again soon. Bye-bye.